In linear algebra, a symmetric matrix is a square matrix that is equal to its transpose. Formally, matrix A is symmetric if because equal matrices have equal dimensions, only square matrices can be symmetric. The entries of a symmetric matrix are symmetric with respect to the main diagonal. So if the entries are written as A equals, then Aij equals Aj, for all indices I and J. The following 3 times 3 matrix is symmetric. Every square diagonal matrix is symmetric, since all off-diagonal entries are zero. Similarly, each diagonal element of a skew-symmetric matrix must be zero, since each is its own negative. In linear algebra, a real symmetric matrix represents a self-adjoint operator over a real inner product space. The corresponding object for a complex inner product space is a Hermitian matrix with complex-valued entries, which is equal to its conjugate transpose. Therefore, in linear algebra over the complex numbers, it is often assumed that a symmetric matrix refers to one which has real-valued entries. Symmetric matrices appear naturally in a variety of applications and typical numerical linear algebra software makes special accommodations for them. Properties The sum and difference of two symmetric matrices is again symmetric, but this is not always true for the product. Given symmetric matrices A and B, then AB is symmetric if and only if A and B commute, i.e., if AB equals bar. So for integer n, n is symmetric if A is symmetric. If A minus 1 exists, it is symmetric if and only if A is symmetric. Let M A T N denote the space of N times N matrices. A symmetric N times N matrix is determined by N two scalars. Similarly, a skew symmetric matrix is determined by N two scalars. If sim denotes the space of n times n symmetric matrices and skewn the space of n times n skew symmetric matrices, then m a t n equals sim plus skewn and sim skewn equals zero, i.e., where denotes the direct sum. Let x m a t n then notice that one half sim and one half skewn. This is true for every square matrix X with entries from any field whose characteristic is different from 2. Any matrix congruent to a symmetric matrix is again symmetric. If X is a symmetric matrix then so is AXAT for any matrix A. A symmetric matrix is necessarily a normal matrix. Real symmetric matrices denote by the standard inner product on Rn. The real n by n matrix A is symmetric if and only if since this definition is independent of the choice of basis. Symmetry is a property that depends only on the linear operator A and the choice of inner product. This characterization of symmetry is useful, for example, in differential geometry. For each tangent space to a manifold may be endowed with an inner product, giving rise to what is called the Riemannian manifold. Another area where this formulation is used is in Hilbert spaces. The finite dimensional spectral theorem says that any symmetric matrix whose entries are real can be diagonalized by an orthogonal matrix. More explicitly, for every symmetric real matrix A there exists a real orthogonal matrix Q such that D equals QTAQ is a diagonal matrix. Every symmetric matrix is thus, up to choice of an orthonormal basis, a diagonal matrix. If A and B are n times n real symmetric matrices that commute, then they can be simultaneously diagonalized. There exists a basis of such that every element of the basis is an eigenvector for both A and B. Every real symmetric matrix is Hermitian, and therefore all its eigenvalues are real, and therefore D is uniquely determined by A up to the order of its entries, essentially. The property of being symmetric for real matrices corresponds to the property of being Hermitian for complex matrices. Complex symmetric matrices A complex symmetric matrix can be diagonalized using a unitary matrix. Thus if A is a complex symmetric matrix, there is a unitary matrix such that is a real diagonal matrix. 
This result is referred to as the Auton de Kagi factorization. It was originally proved by Elliot Cute Owen Auton and Teiji Takagi and rediscovered with different proofs by several other mathematicians. In fact the matrix B equals aha is Hermitian and non-negative, so there is a unitary matrix V such that BHBV is diagonal with non-negative real entries. Thus C equals VTAV is complex symmetric with CHC real. Writing C equals X plus IY with X and Y real symmetric matrices, CHC equals X2 plus Y2 plus I, thus XY equals YX. Since X and Y commute, there is a real orthogonal matrix W such that both WX, WT and WY, WT are diagonal. Setting U equals WVT, the matrix UA, UT is complex diagonal. Post multiplying U by another diagonal matrix the diagonal entries can be made to be real and non-negative. Since their squares are the eigenvalues of a ha, they coincide with the singular values of A. Decomposition Using the Jordan normal form, one can prove that every square real matrix can be written as a product of two real symmetric matrices and every square complex matrix can be written as a product of two complex symmetric matrices. Every real non-singular matrix can be uniquely factored as the product of an orthogonal matrix and a symmetric positive definite matrix, which is called a polar decomposition. Singular matrices can also be factored, but not uniquely. Koleski decomposition states that every real positive definite symmetric matrix A is a product of a lower triangular matrix L and its transpose. If the matrix is symmetric indefinite, it may be still decomposed as where is a permutation matrix, a lower unit triangular matrix, and is a direct sum of symmetric 1 times 1 and 2 times 2 blocks which is called Bunch-Kaufmann decomposition. A complex symmetric matrix may not be diagonalizable by similarity. Every real symmetric matrix is diagonalizable by a real orthogonal similarity. Every complex symmetric matrix A can be diagonalized by unitary congruence where Q is a unitary matrix. If A is real, the matrix Q is a real orthogonal matrix, and lambda is real and diagonal. To see orthogonality, suppose there are eigenvectors corresponding to distinct eigenvalues. Then, since and are distinct, thus we have the orthogonality. Hessian. Symmetric n by n matrices of real functions appear as the Hessians of twice continuously differentiable functions of n real variables. Every quadratic form Q on Rn can be uniquely written in the form Q equals X tax with a symmetric N by N matrix A. Because of the above spectral theorem, one can then say that every quadratic form, up to the choice of an orthonormal basis of Rn, looks like, with real numbers lambda i. This considerably simplifies the study of quadratic forms, as well as the study of the level sets X. Q equals 1, which are generalizations of conic sections. This is important partly because the second-order behavior of every smooth multivariable function is described by the quadratic form belonging to the functions Hessian. This is a consequence of Taylor's theorem. Symmetrizable matrix an n by n matrix A is said to be symmetrizable if there exist an invertible diagonal matrix D and symmetric matrix S such that A equals DS. The transpose of a symmetrizable matrix is symmetrizable since it equals C equals S D equals D minus 1 and DS D is symmetric. A matrix A equals is symmetrizable if and only if the following conditions are met implies for all, for any finite sequence, 